girl, hold on. When, look, when you see what I'm wearing, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Because I'm cold. I dress like a homeless person when I'm cold. I mean, I literally got on like... Yeah. Don't, don't say nothing. Y'all. I have multiple glasses. And so, I switch up my glasses with the seasons. Um, And I have these... What do you call this? Like leopard, pink, brown. Now my vision is so, it is cute. My vision is so tricky though. And I, I have pink that, I, so I'm spinning. I have pink that I wear in the spring through summer. This is another chit chat, you guys. I need something to get me in a, in a mood. These chit chat videos, you know, they get me a little excited, get me in a mood because my mood is everywhere. I'm going to not try to talk about the sad stuff because I want to make you guys happy and we all going to be happy, right? But just know that life is happening um, and it's, it's coming fast. It's coming at me fast. So what I'm going to be doing with my hair during this chit chat is um, my husband decided to take us out to eat in the morning and we can't, we can't go out looking like this. This is uh, this is crazy. So I need to do, <laughs> I need to do something with my hair. First of all, I need to moisturize my hair. I need to pluck out that gray. Lord have mercy. Moisturize my hair. I will probably retwist it in large twists. So let's get into this chit chat, y'all. Y'all know how we do. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Now, my husband just gave me some news that kind of hurt my feelings. So I'm getting, I had one glass of wine earlier, and now I'm having me some more because, girl. I don't have anything to moisturize my hair. I have water, the Talaja, Talaya Wajid curling, curl cream, and, and some oil. <sighs> Y'all, it, it's been an emotional roller coaster. I've had some family dynamics going on with my extended family. Not, and my my, my husband, we're going to get to it, girl. We're going to get to it. He's okay. Just like, I know he's okay. He's fine. It's just that uh, me and JB are sensitive. <laughs> JB and I are sensitive. Oh my God. Y'all, see that big old thing? That's a massage chair that my husband purchased a couple of years ago. Big as hell, just ruining my background. So, in my last chit chat, I told y'all how JB was acting up at school. He's the class clown. He has been a lot better this week. Now, his little teacher, and I call her little teacher, y'all. I mean, I, I respect her. I, I do. She's young. She's young enough to be my daughter, actually. Um, and she's still learning this thing called kids and childhood. So, in one week, she will send me a message that's like, JB's going home with all this work. I, I, he didn't do this stuff. And then the next day, JB did really good. He, he got all gold stars. And then the next day, JB didn't even, um, I asked him about this paper, this, I asked him about this assignment and he said he knew how to do it. And then when I checked it, he got all of them wrong. What do you want me to do with that? What, do you, what I need for her to understand is that, and I think she's like barely 22, like seriously, she's probably 21. She, I don't, yeah, I need for this girl, I, what I need for her to understand, and she's learning, she's gonna have to learn, is that children are consistently inconsistent. It is up to us as adults to invite an atmosphere for their asses to be stable. <laughs> I, I say that in a laughing way because I was getting a little frustrated, especially with her last message. She's basically like, I asked him if he understood and he said, yeah. And then when he did it, he got all the questions wrong. Well, then clearly that means that he didn't understand. And so I reminded her that this is very common with ch children that have JB's particular learning disabilities all combined is that they will make it seem like they understand and really they don't. Or perhaps you have, instead of saying, do you, do you get this? And they say, yay, you go over an example and you'll allow them to demonstrate whether or not they understand. And when they give you the wrong answer, that's when you correct them or correct the actual, you you relay the instructions differently. And that's all it was. He wasn't understanding the instructions. So anyway, he's doing a lot better. Um, My aunt is having, she's turning 70 years old. 
and she is having a 70s birthday party y'all at first i wasn't sure i'm, I'm gonna be upfront with y'all because you know sometimes it could be family drama and stuff going on and just things in general and i just wasn't sure if i was gonna go i don't have any issues with her it's just that i'm just not in the mood to be around certain people in my family i'm just being honest and so when i found out my sister was going i'm like okay i can deal with it then <laughs> i could deal with it so uh honey i ordered me this cute purple jumper i plan on losing like <laughs> hold on i really really want to wear my hair and the Farrah faucet feather flowy hair i really want to do that but and i think i know how i could do that it's not going to be flat it's going to be big I may do that. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. It's either that or an afro. The thing with an, the magnitude of my hair and wearing my hair in an afro, it's going to get, at first of all, I get attention when my hair is like this. With an afro, I'm easily going to get this much. And it's going to, I don't, as crazy as it is, I really don't like a lot of attention, you guys. So the few times that I've worn my hair in an afro, even if it's like an afro puff, because it's so much density, I just don't like that that tension. So I would rather my hair be in a flowy, sexy look. I don't even mind doing like a um, curly afro, which I typically do with small perm rods and flip it out um, into like an afro. But that's a waste of time, girl. I ain't going to be arching up my back at night just to fluff it out y'all let me know you think i should do the afro or do the sexy farrah faucet look which with me again i'm not gonna get that sleekness but i will get the bounce i will so yeah she's having that um she's turning 70 it's gonna be a 70s themed birthday party which is cute at the end of february i um i need to lose weight I have officially gained 12 pounds since I since we moved here, which honestly isn't that bad considering the amount of foolery I've been eating. 12 years and up 12 years, 12 pounds in a year is not that bad. My weight will go up, down, go up and down. So I need to really get it together. So, ciao. My husband just told me just now, actually, before I came on cam, that he is taking, he's gonna be in Houston. Um, and he already had told me this before that he would be doing contract work and more than likely going all over Texas or, or it may even be Oklahoma, which Oklahoma, you guys, is really not that far from, from Texas because, again, we're in North Texas. Anyway, and I was like, okay, you know. I'm thinking, okay, that's, that's fine with me. So just now, like I said, he said, well, it looks like I'm going to be going to Houston next month. JP and I look on the couch doing this. What? Now, mind you, child, at less than 24 hours earlier, I was I was done with my husband, meaning I was P.O. He was getting on my nerves. Because that's just how it is when you marry. You know, every now, not every day is lollipops and giraffes and, you know, and heart circles. It's a give or take. It's, it's work, girl. But it doesn't have to be that hard. If, it's, if your marriage is really that hard, then it ain't for you. All I'm saying is that is not sunflowers and roses and stuff all the time and we're okay with it we understand it so this is to show you how quick the emotions can change because like i said girl even this morning i was like don't talk to me i didn't say that but i'm thinking that you know don't don't talk to me and so now when he's telling me he's gonna be in houston for dang on near 13 15 weeks i'm like jb and i was like jb almost started crying i already gave him y'all we're a close little family i had already gave the baby a heads up and he's like so he's like how many more weeks left do we have i'm like jb <laughs> so sweet he's like how long would he be gone i said baby look he's just gonna be three hours away we can go down there because i have family in houston too i can roll up with some people and visit them i said we can go down there um every three weeks you know go go on a friday and come back on a sunday it's just three hours away um, he's going to be staying in an Airbnb. The contract job will actually give him money for that, you know, staying, staying in the Airbnb. And, you know, all of this, again, is to pay for JB's tuition. Because, you know, my husband likes to pay for it up front. 
you know, pay for it up front. So it is what it is, girl. So um, he saw how sad we were. And he was like, okay, I'll take y'all out to eat for breakfast in the morning. And so we're like, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, what I'm watching on YouTube I have been watching um, the YouTube reaction. I love reaction people, people that um, react to certain videos. And so I've been watching some of Carlos King's videos. He is so, so, so funny. Um, then I started looking up people who I haven't heard from in a while just to see what they're up to. I checked out Border Hammer because uh, I hadn't seen some of her videos. Um, there was somebody else I was trying to look up. Shari J, girl, I, she's not talking about her plants, so, but some people are like that. Hey, we're more than just out here, right? <laughs> so checking her out. I know that she was going through some issues mentally um, and just having a hard time because I think she's lost both her parents. Um, and, and she's young to have lost both her parents. I, I think, you know, that's just young, which is really sad. Also, Whitney recently did a video on, you know, her business and going through a through her divorce, which is absolutely horrible. And I think she was with what is it? What was his name, y'all? Felipe, Frederick. I'm making up names. I think she was with him since she was in high school. Isn't that crazy? So most of her her life, her life, you know. Um, I don't know if I necessarily believe in that. And I know that's a whole separate di discussion. All I'm saying is that I think that as humans, and look, if you find someone you, that <laughs> you can't live without, well, we all, I think we all kind of feel like that when we meet someone in high school. But all I'm saying is that I just think that as an individual, as a, as a human being, we should be able to be by ourselves one for a while and then decide whether or not we want to take a break. You know, so girl, you're getting way off subject. Anyway, um, what else, what else, what else? Child, speaking of being by yourself and knowing yourself, I was watching the Betty Broderick story yet again. I don't know what about that case that is just so... First of all, <laughs> what? I watch the Lifetime movie again. Then I watch her when she was on Oprah again. And Betty... Betty was, was not holding back on anything. She told Oprah, she's like, yeah, Dan was going through like a midlife life crisis. He got, you know, his red Corvette. He had his risky biscuit sunlight, sunglasses. I told him he was the American joke. And the, the audience started cracking up laughing. But child, Betty, five years ago, was it five years ago? 2017, 2018? denied parole she won't be eligible for a parole again until she's 84 years old betty girl just just say you 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 felt sorry that's all you have to say girl just but betty look i think betty's like you know what i got a hot meal i got a, a cot um i'm up here yo we got to share the same uh same makeup and stuff and but I'm good. You notice how some of these people that be in prison, they live a long life. The bed is living in, in her 70s. She's 75 years old. Girl, these people in prison because, look, you ain't out on the road. You ain't got to worry about eating McDonald's and gaining all this weight. Look, you can go to the yard, exercise. Well, she old now. But all I'm saying is that seems like she she's alive. She's good. But she ain't getting out. That's all it is. <laughs> She is not getting out. Anyway, um, what is this? Big girl don't. Oh, so I started finding some of these uh, movies that I used to watch growing up, like Adventures in Babysitting. Remember that movie, you guys, where the babysitter took the kids and they ended up in the hood and somewhere else, and they had to sing jazz to get to get somewhere or something. I don't know. They ended up somewhere. Well, one of my favorite movies I watched was Big Girls Don't Cry, They Get Even. And so I'm currently watching it now on YouTube, actually. Because, you know, YouTube has several free movies that you can watch. Um, besides that, y'all, I'm seeing a lot of true crime videos coming up where it's instances or cases where all women did was tell the man no, and they are killed. 
just based on that. We have, have gotten to a society of men who don't know how to handle rejection and they don't know how to manage their emotions. It is absolutely, and I know I've said this before, it is absolutely ridiculous the amount of cases I'm hearing. I feel like on a dang on weekly basis of men either killing the girlfriend, killing their wives, and literally taking out their entire family. I don't know if that was, if it was in Silicon Valley or where, but a man had ran off the cliff with 300 feet down off the cliff with his entire family in the car. Somehow they all survived. That is absolute, can you imagine the trauma those kids are gonna to have to endure. It, it's just absolutely crazy to me. So, you know, as women, we have to be very careful, not to say in the incidents of the, where you reject the person, but we have to be careful, one, who we have kids with. That's a big one. Be very careful who you allow to plant a seed in you. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, and just trust your gut, your gut instincts, girl. You really do. And men, trust your instincts. You could not pay me enough to be single. And like I said before, you couldn't pay me to be single in 2022, in 2019, in 2006. I not have, I'm, no. Look, he better not ever leave me. You, you're going to be in Houston for 13, 13 uh, weeks. You see, I'm going to be rolling up there. Girl, I'm not playing. I'm going to be rolling up there, especially if you're going to be in an Airbnb. I told Jamie, it's, like, it's, it's going to be like we're going on a little vacation every three weeks. Child, I mean, I may be there. Maybe every four weeks. <laughs> um, what else am I watching? That's it about it, y'all. That is about it. Ooh, girl, get into this main. Look at this. Um, What I'm watching on Hulu and Netflix. Now... I feel like somebody, oh, this is something I was going to talk about. Girl, did you hear about Bank of America losing all this money from other people's account? I wish Bank of America would. First of all, I get a notification of a certain dollar amount when anything like over $300 is, de is deducted. But I don't even think it was that. I just think they completely, what the hell is the money at Bank of America? That is absolutely crazy to me. That's crazy. Mm -mm. Another thing I heard is that I believe it's happening uh, something in Tennessee that they are considering. They are not considering if a drunk driver kills a parent and that parent was paying child support. The drunk driver now is responsible for the child support payments. What do y'all think about that? I was like, shut up. So this is the thing. What if... You are you had multiple kids by multiple women, so now the drunk driver has to pay for all those kids. That is absolutely crazy. I'm I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think it's too too um bad of an idea considering that you were ignorant enough to get behind um a car intoxicated. You alive, you can pay. You can pay the child support. That parent can't do it, so go ahead. Pay up. You probably got the money anyway. That's crazy. Again, that's a DUI law that they are considering in, I believe it was Tennessee, definitely in the South. All right, y'all. So what I'm watching on Netflix, Hulu, and some other stuff, mostly on Netflix. So I decided to go back to Hulu. I felt like somebody was trying to um, change my password, or maybe I just getting old and forgot but I had to do a reset of my password and everything through Hulu. I was done. But I did it, <clears throat> went ahead and did it. And trying to watch some stuff, I'm back to looking at um, Abbott Elementary. Ava is the character we all love to hate. Hot mess. That actress is absolutely hilarious to me. And she's funny without trying to be funny. I love the show. Now, I haven't watched the latest episode, so I have to start back over with the season. Um, but absolutely love 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 it so far i am gonna start watching castle rock i know <laughs> i forgot which episode i was on actually i do know 
and I'm not going to give any spoilers, but there was a episode that was so, it was too much for me, child. Oh, hold on. And y'all, actually there's several episodes that's like that, but this is the main one that happened in season one. And I was literally like, oh, I may need to take a break because all of this violence happened fast for no reason at all. And I'm, I'm going to come back because I, I love the, um, the cast of, again, it's Castle Rock, which we all know if you're fans of Stephen King, Castle Rock is a town that he uses quite often in a lot of his novels. I think Castle Rock was in Needful Things. Um, it's been in several books. I think it was even in um, Dr. Sleep. It's been in several of, of Stephen King's books. Look, that looks good, huh? What else, y'all? Netflix, y'all. Everything on Netflix. There is a good little weird movie called Windfall. Check it out. It's called Windfall. It's like murder mystery. You worth the money. I know you got money. Go ahead and give it to me, type of thing. Um, Rim of the World. I think I've mentioned this to you guys before about some bad preteens. You know, the thing that just get me is that I get that that. This generation is different, but some of the things that they have these kids and the language they use, I don't know. And that's how it is in Rim of the World. And I can't honestly say that all kids are like that. Because what it is, I think I saw someone, I think I mentioned this before too, that someone had mentioned that, um, oh, all, teen, all kids curse. My child doesn't curse. He doesn't curse. Matter of fact, I know he does because he doesn't even like it when we use curse. When we curse. So we, not every child uses that type of language. But anyway, girl, I digress. It's called Rim of the World. And it's like an end of the world type of scenario. We got um, um, aliens and some badass kids. <laughs> None of it goes together. One that was really good is Deadly Illusions on Netflix about a right. I feel like I've talked about this before. It's about a author who is struggling to finish his damn book, girl, story of my life. <laughs> um, and it's different. It really is. She ends up hiring this sexy little babysitter, girl, mistake number one. And things just go off from there. Now, something that I started to watch and I had to stop because I, I y'all, I'm a true crime addict. And I go, uh, I will sometimes go as far, depending on the case, and reading more about the um, family members. I will also, I don't do it all the time, read the autopsy, because they are available. Or not necessarily, even if it's not the autopsy, I'll try to get the news articles or reports during the actual time. Um, I like to go back and see if there's any type of court proceedings that were captured um, or any trials, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's how deep I can go. So I have been delaying it because when it happened, I remember following the wife's friend, the Chris Watts story. So when that woman went missing and we all heard about it because she had two babies, you know, two children that were missing. And so one of Shanann's friends made her Facebook page public. Oh my God, I'm gonna get emotional thinking about this. So since she was friends with Sh Shanann, um, you were able to see conversations on this friend's Facebook page post of Shannon and her and they're talking and I was able to see some of her posts too meaning Shannon and she was sharing a lot of videos she had like small little videos that she would share of her cooking and stuff like everything that you see now we were able to see right but this one friend was you know we're all following her you know we're going back looking for updates and trying to figure out where she's at yada 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 well I tell you when they discovered what happened and just to see the outpouring. You can literally see it unfold and it, it hits differently when you you were watching it and you're watching it from the perspective of someone who knew the people, right? I saw all that. I saw all the, um, the cops 
recordings too of him you know speaking to the neighbors and them being unsure and shout out to that that one friend nicole who was like hell no okay y'all let me move on let me move on um i'm gonna go back and start watching lock and key i know i keep saying this you guys but i'm watching a lot of stuff you hear me but definitely gonna watch lock and key um I am hearing, so y'all know I'm re-watching Good Girls all because I like real sexy stuff. But I'm hearing whenever I watch, whenever I look at comments from people on YouTube talk about Rio and Beth, they say, oh, I haven't seen this much chemistry since the originals. But the originals is like vampire stuff and I'm really, I can't, yeah, I don't know if I could do that right now. I can hope I can do that regardless when. Not doing it. Oxygen is a movie that I'm going to watch on Netflix. I did watch the first episode of New Amsterdam. It's cute, but not enough to get me. Let me know if you're watching, if it gets better. If it gets better, I may I may try it. I may try it some more. Um, There was one other thing. Girl, <laughs> petty ass Netflix. Netflix has, <laughs> we all know now about the story between Netflix and Blockbuster, right? Netflix and Blockbuster was on a plane ride together. Netflix approached Blockbuster, who was the big wig. Then it was like, hey, we have this idea of, at that time it was um, having users uh, rent DVDs online and we mail it to them. And Blockbuster was like, huh, but if you don't be kind, rewind, you're going to have to pay these fees. And Netflix was like, but this, this is a good idea. This is the future. We know what happened. And Black Blockbuster only has one store left. And you can actually spend the night there. And JB wants to go. But that's another story. Girl, Netflix is so petty. They have a series called Blockbuster, The Last Remaining Store. So, so I'm going to watch it. And JB actually wants to, we, he wants to watch it with me. Um, petty as hell. Just petty. So I'm going to watch it. We're going to watch it together, actually. So y'all, let me finish this rest of this. And I'm going to show y'all some ways that I style my hair with these. My hair like this. My hair is a little old. And so they're, um, Okay. And I'm gonna squeeze this and rub it down. Okay. And then I use a lot of oil, you guys, only because I know my tresses can handle it. It was so funny. I was doing a friend's hair once, and this is when I was first natural, and she has thin and fine hair. My slow butt started putting oil on her hair, girl. Her whole face was getting oily. Uh, she's like, oh, she's like, oh, you can't use this much oil for me. I said, girl, clearly you can't. Because you turn me into a damn Popeye's chicken leg. All right, girl. Okay. So, now I got these big juicy twists, right? Right. You're like, okay, girl, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you. Now, I'm going to put more oil in my hair. Okay. Mm, I can feel it. Now, I'm going to do my signature look. Okay, I'm just going to take this. You can see all that, but it's shiny. I'm going to take this all the way up like this, like so. And I can do that like that. See how pretty that is? And then I can take these. Again, this is signature, my signature updo. And I can do this like that girl well you know what i mean or i could do i'm gonna take all of these here and then i'm rolling my hair okay and i can continue to now normally i would have some bobby pins you know what i mean while I'm doing this, but clearly I'm just showing you what I would normally do. I could do all of that and roll, keep it rolling across, okay? That's another way. This is what I'm gonna do to go to bed. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I need to wash my hair in like 2.5 days. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of you subscribers. Take care, bye.